My name is Gus Gathard, I'm Professor of Glaucoma Studies Ophthalmology here at University College London UCL and I'm a consultant ophthalmologist at Moorfields and Moorfields Private, specialising in glaucoma and cataract. I'm Director of Surgery here at Moorfields and until recently was President of the UK Glaucoma Society. Glaucoma is a disease of the optic nerve, so the diagnosis of glaucoma hinges on finding changes in the optic nerve. And there are two ways of doing that. One is to look at the nerve itself and look for signs of changed anatomy, so a change in shape of the nerve. We often talk about the optic disc, and that's just simply the nerve that you can see from the front of the eye. When we look inside, we see the end of that nerve. That's called the optic disc. And you can see changes in that disc, changes in that structure. We also can measure the function of the nerve, we can, how well it's working, and that's the visual field test, which is a, often a computerised, automated test where you simply press a, press a button when you can see something out of the corner of your eye. So I look straight ahead at you, and then the machine shows me lights all the way around here, and I press a button when I see them. And if you've got glaucoma, you need a much brighter light before you see it, and that's the visual field test. So those are the, the main ways of diagnosing glaucoma. 